hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time stopping by here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber a vicha hug to you guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a lemon facial at home for instant skin brightening whitening lightening fairness and glowing skin that's a mouthful yeah i know so this is all what this remedy is going to do for your skin it's also going to help you to get rid of dark spot because of course whatever help you to lighten up your skin also help to get rid of black also help you to get rid of dark spot this is also going to help you to get rid of blemishes and this is also going to help you to get rid of um hyperpigmentation and whatnot so if you've been looking for a natural way to um lighten up your skin then of course this remedy is for you this is a three-step remedy. I always love three-step remedies. So this is a three-step remedy. It involves a cleanser, a scrub, and also a face pack, which can also be called a face massage. So I'm going to show you guys this remedy, which is very easy to make and also very, very, very easy to use. If you like to see this remedy, all you need to do is to keep watching this video up until the end. But if you're not subscribed to my channel, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Do so by clicking on the red subscribe button down below this video. It is totally free. Also right beside the subscribe button, you're going to find the notification bell icon click and it's that way you get notified anytime i post a new video also guys if you find this video informative and educative then of course smash the like button and if you know anyone who this video is going to be useful to then of course do not hesitate to share this video to that person because of course sharing is caring let's get right into this video our first ingredient is rice flour rice flour is one of the most effective and useful ingredients to lighten and brighten the skin complexion it contains palm is a very good sunscreen. It removes suntan and darkness instantly from the skin. It mildly exfoliates your skin, removes dead skin cells, pigmentation, and even out skin tone. It absorbs extra oil from your skin and prevents acne and pimples. It reduces fine lines and makes your skin more youthful. This rice paste will not only lead to fairer skin, but also a smoother skin with fewer wrinkles. So this is the benefit of our rice powder. I'm going to show you guys our next ingredients. Our next ingredient is raw milk. Raw milk contains lactic acid, which helps to moisturize, hydrate, and nourish the skin. It helps to heal the rough, uneven skin tone. It helps in lightening the skin complexion and discoloration of the skin. So this is the benefit of our raw milk. I'm going to show you guys our next ingredient. Next ingredient is lemon. Lemon is excellent in treating blackheads. It helps to draw excess oil from the skin because it contains vitamin C and citric acid and these ingredients help to lighten and brighten the skin. So this is the benefit of our lemon. I'm going to show you guys our next ingredient. Our next ingredient is glycerin. Glycerin has anti-inflammatory properties which, help, which helps in reducing redness of the skin and gets rid of acne and pimples. It is a great cleanser and aids in removing excess oil and impurity from pores. So this is the benefit of our glycerin. I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to show you guys our last and final ingredients. Our final ingredient is coconut oil. Coconut oil can be used as a skin moisturizer because because of its vitamin E content and its positive antioxidant action in the body. This helps stop the damage to the tissues in the body since oxidation is a major source of skin aging its antimicrobial properties can also be useful with things like acne eczema psoriasis etc coconut oil can improve the moisture and lipid content of people with dry skin so this is the benefit of all our ingredients i'm going to show you guys how to mix these ingredients all up together let's go guys so this remedy is a three-step remedy. For the first step, we're going to be needing our glycerin and our lemon juice. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of my lemon juice. So this is one teaspoon of my lemon juice. This is one teaspoon of our lemon juice. And I'm just going to stir this. This is going to act as our cleanser. So once I'm done stirring, this, this first step is so easy to make. So I'm literally done making this first step. I'm going to set this aside and show you guys how to make this second step. So for the second step, we're going to be making use of rice flour and our milk. So I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of my rice flour. So you hear it, here is one tablespoon of my rice flour. I'm going to add this right into my bowl. 
and then I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of my milk powder so this is one teaspoon of my milk powder then of course I'm going to mix and stir this all up together Now, once I'm done mixing and stirring this all up together, our second step is ready. I'm going to set this aside and of course show you guys how to make the third and final step. So for the final step, we're going to need our coconut oil and our lemon juice. And I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of my coconut oil. So here is one teaspoon of my coconut oil going right into my bowl. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of my lemon juice. And of course, I'm going to stir this. This is literally very easy to make. So once I'm done mixing and stirring this, you can see the color has literally changed. So I'm just going to stir it some more. So once I'm done stirring this, at this point, my ready is ready to go up on my skin. I'm going to set it aside and of course show you guys how to use this on your skin. So I'm going to start off with the first step. I would advise you actually steam your face before using this first step. Steaming means you get a bowl of hot water and allow the heat that comes from the hot water um, to kind of like hit your face. Mm -hmm. Is there anything like that? They actually sell the hand heater on the market so you can actually get it from any market around you. Or you can do the local, local way which I do and I still plan on getting the um, electric heater as time goes on. So for you to use this, you need to use a cutting pad but I don't have a cutting pad. Then of course I'm going to be using my foundation brush. So what I'm going to do is to dip this into the content then I'll generously apply this on my hands. But in your case, you should apply this generously on your face. So, like I said, steam your face before before using this. So, once you've done that, just generously apply this on your face. So, you're more like using this to cleanse your face after steaming it. So, just cleanse it and allow it to sit on your face. You don't need to rinse it off. So, once it has sat on your face, then after five minutes of allowing this to sit on your face, then you go over to use the second step. So, just apply this on your face and after five minutes, then you, you apply the second, the second step. Then of course make sure you steam your face like I said, make sure you steam your face, it is very important. So I'm going to show you guys how to apply the second step. Second step, all you need to do is to grab your remedy and apply this generously all over your face. I'm going to be using my fingertips, make sure your hands are properly clean before using this. So just apply this on your face generously. After applying this, allow this to sit on your face for at least two to three minutes before rinsing it off. So once you are done applying it, allow it to sit on your face. This can act like a scrub. You can also gently scrub this like this, or you can just leave it on your face. And after two to three minutes, you rinse it off with a lukewarm water. This is very, very easy to make and use as well. So just massage it for a while and then allow it to sit on your skin skin or your face for two to three minutes before going ahead to rinse this off with a lukewarm water so the last step is the facial massage so all you need to do is to massage this into your skin so just take this with the help of your fingertips gently massage this into your face like i'm doing you can actually use a cutting pad to also massage this so just massage this generously around your face so just massage this generously all over your face for five minutes and after five minutes you literally allow this to sit on your face you don't need to rinse this off just allow this to sit on your face for as long as possible i advise you do this treatment on the weekend where you have enough time this is very very effective i would definitely take your skin care regimen to a whole new level so that is literally how to use this three-step lemon facial massage on your skin 
Okay guys, so that is how to make that remedy, which is very easy to make and of course very very easy to use. I'm going to run you guys through the process of using this remedy. But before, you, before I do that, I'm going to put out a, a disclaimer. Make sure you do a patch test to see if this is suitable for your skin type before you go ahead to apply it on your face. Like you saw me, I applied it on my hands. So you can actually apply this on your hands and if you don't react to it and you see it, it's very okay for your skin, then you can go right ahead to apply this on your face. So for you to use this, I'll advise before you go, before you even use any of the um, remedy, make sure you steam your face in order to open up your pores. There's actually the electric steamer. If you have that, you can use the electric steamer. I'm going to put an image of what an electric steamer looks like. That's because I don't have it. I intend to actually get it. But I use the traditional way of steaming the face, which involves you dipping your face into a hot bucket of water it doesn't mean your face will get to the water all you need is for the flames to get to your face and open up your pores so dip your, your face into the bucket of water and then use a towel to, well to cover your face and just allow that to open up your pores before you even go right ahead to do anything in your face this really really works very very well on your skin i do this mostly on the saturdays when i have a lot of time so once you realize the pores are completely open, then of course use this to cleanse your face. Use the first remedy to gently cleanse around your face. That way your pores and whatever that comes out of your face, this cleanser helps to take that out of your face. And after doing that, then you go right ahead to the second step, which is the scrub. So you gently apply the scrub on your face and then you scrub this gently for about two to three minutes. Gently scrub it on your face. Do not go hard on your face because the skin on, your, on our face is quite delicate. So just gently scrub this for about two to three minutes. After two to three minutes, then of course you can rinse this off with a lukewarm water. And then for the final step, all you need to do is to massage this into your skin. So you apply this and then you just massage it for about 10 to 15 minutes so after massaging this on your face then you can get a cutting pad and then take out the excess oil on your face you don't need to watch this just get a cutting pad and then use this to take out the excess oil on your face and instantly you realize the skin will instantly look beautiful and glowing using that hot bowl of hot water really does the magic that is the trick because it has opened up your pores so it's going to make every remedy or everything you're going to use on your face to go right into your skin and work adequately and in no time you realize this will help you to get rid of your pores get rid of your dark spot get rid of your pores get rid of your dark spot and also get rid of your hyperpigmentation and whatnot and in no time your skin will look literally very 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 beautiful and you should do this at least once in a week i use this mostly once in a week that's on the weekend so this is very very okay once in a week you don't need to use this every day or every other day once in a week is completely fine and in no time your skin will look really really beautiful and you have a younger looking baby looking face i hope this video has been helpful to you guys and i hope you learned a thing or two from watching this video if you've watched this video and you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel do so by clicking on the red subscribe button down below this video it is totally free right beside the subscribe button you're going to find the notification bell icon click on it that way anytime i post a new video youtube gets notify you also guys if you find this video interesting or informative to watch then of course don't hesitate to smash the like button and if you know anyone who this video is going to be useful to then of course share this video to that person until i come your way next time i may your dearest host Ongochuku. stay happy stay blessed stay motivated and i love you guys bye guys